guys, Christina Carmody with Liberty Canine Dog Training. I have Penny who we've been following her journey with me. We're on day six and she is doing an absolute rock star with the remote collar with her place and her come and her walk. She's doing so well with the sit and the down. We're still using leash um, guidance with that. But today what I really wanted to show you was how great, yes, what else did we want to show her? is how great she's doing with the place when it comes to distractions because we saw on her introduction uh, to the remote caller with the place command a little bit of work with SA and now I mean SA is just chilling uh, and, uh, and without, a, without an issue. Duke is mad because I did not introduce him. This is baby Duke, my expert dog training assistant. Of course, you have S.A., my master dog distractor, and Lainey, who's just chilling, uh, chilling like a villain over there, uh, relaxing. So what I really wanted to do today was show you how she's doing with the cat because that's her number one priority and why we're actually, why she's actually here because integrating her into the house with the cats in her home was not working whatsoever. So they were going to have to find a new home for her or return her to the rescue because it just wasn't working out. And you saw a video of her uh, six days ago really trying to get a duchess and really trying to bark at her and be super pumped up about her. And I just want to show you her with the cat. Um, and how she is because they have cats at home and the last couple weeks have been absolutely um, unbearable for them. So Duchess uh, is right on top of the couch right here. And yeah, I mean Duchess doesn't want anything to do with her. Duchess in right now and just sit to show you the difference six days can make when you have the right training. Duchess, come on pretty girl. All right, so I'll walk back over here. I'm just going to have Duchess kind of follow us and uh, Duchess loves cat treats. So we're going to, going to uh, look at her. I mean, she's just completely, completely cool with the cat being here. She, the cat's sniffing her toy. The cat's hanging out by her bed. And Penny's like, hey, I'm supposed to be chill. I'm supposed to be relaxed. I'm supposed to be all in my place. Not a care in the world. That includes the cat. Guys, this is the foundation of my training. Keep yourself in a calm, relaxed state of mind. And then that way, you can process the environment around you in a much, much clearer way. And when you have the dog who's able to think rationally and clearly in those moments, you see she's actually really not trying to kill a cat. <laughs> Your Duchess is literally sniffing her nose, and Penny's like, what's up, cat? Amazing. I mean, seriously, seriously amazing stuff. And I, let me tell you, sometimes, you know, this training surprises even me. And then I was thinking maybe we would get to this day 9 or 10. Here we are on day 6, and absolutely rocking it. And that goes to show you, one, how smart Penny is, but also, two, just how the training makes sense to her. When you have a training program that makes sense to the dog, which the remote collar does when you use it properly, your training can get accelerate so, so quickly. So here we are having dogs hanging out with her, but the cat literally walking right up to her saying, hey, what's up? And Penny's being like, hey, what's going on? 
and that's it. <laughs> Instead of trying to leap over the couch, barking at her, trying to cause a ruckus, and potentially giving Duchess a, uh, a heart attack. We don't want that. So what I'm going to do is, uh, Duchess loves her treats, so I'm actually going to get her moving around a little bit, kind of following, and then, hey, come here, Duchess. Want to go up for it? There you go. Duchess loves her treats, doesn't she do? I'm actually going to just gonna grab a few, put them back over here, and you can see her just kind of running around. Come on, Duchess. And if at any time, let's, I actually just put the remote collar buzzer down, but if at any time uh, Penny were to get up, I can just give her a simple reminder with it, but Penny is rocking it so well that it's just, it's, it's super amazing. I mean, look at this. And I'll try and get Duchess a little bit over here so you can see uh, Penny kind of just react. And especially because Penny can get really super excited about treats too. And that's the fundamental issue with using, trying to use positive reinforcement. One, you get the dog amped up and anxious and excited about the treat, so they're automatically in an excited, adrenalized mode. And two, if the distraction trumps the treat, then you don't have any training whatsoever. Here, she understands just be calm and relax. Now what I can do is actually reward her for being super amazing. And that is how you want to do positive reinforcement. You hear me kind of rag a little bit on positive reinforcement training, and that's only meant to be positive reinforcement training that you basically start with and don't balance it out with consequences. I am, I use positive reinforcement for every single dog that comes here, but at the right time and the right moment. Here I'll actually reward you for being an absolute rock star, not trying to bribe you. Come on not trying to bribe you to do the right thing or try and get your attention or something like that. Instead, what I'm going to do is give you a genuine reward for being genuinely sh enough. Sequoia. Hi. Yes. Um, there we go. Look at that. Amazing stuff, honestly. Hey. some more treats over here. Dog hug. I don't want to give Penny too many uh, treats. You can go ahead and keep your uh, eye on her. We'll actually get some, uh, some legit dog treats. All right. I don't mind giving Penny a, a couple cat treats here and there, but and I'm sure they're completely healthy for her. But just in case, we'll give Penny a couple of dog treats. <laughs> There we go. Good girl, Penny. Very nice. Look at her. Just having you guys. <laughs> Sometimes this training uh, surprises me and how well it goes so quickly. To be honest with you, I really wasn't expecting to do this for another three or four days. And here I am, day six. To be honest with you, I, you know, last night, uh, the very end of last night, day five, um, very orderly had the cat come in here and I wanted to see what Penny would do and so on. And this is how well it went, which is why I'm like, yeah, let's crack out the camera first thing in the morning because this is truly amazing. And this literally saved her home. If she wasn't going to be able to be properly integrated with cats, she would have had to find a new home. Plain and simple. So there's your update for day six. I'll go ahead and tomorrow we'll update you on how she's doing with just general um, obedience and more distractions and so on. And then what we're going to do soon is start field trips with her out and about to take care of that. Yes, yes we are. You can come too. Um, to take care of that ornery behavior when she's out and about, like we saw at Lincoln Park uh, a few uh, a few days ago on, on, on day number one. So here you go. Here you know, day six, and she's a she's an absolute rock star. You can only imagine how amazing she's going to be on day fourteen when everything is wrapped up. So that's it for now. Duke says goodbye. He says wrap it up, Mama. So. Uh,
<laughs> right? <laughs> what else do you want to tell everybody? Huh? That's it? All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. You're a goofball. Say good girl, Penny. Good girl, Penny. <laughs>